This dog, now named Chip, had a cancerous growth that left him with a slim chance of surviving. He was rescued by the Trinidad and Tobago Paw Rescue, popularly known as the TTPR. Now he's living in a foster home. For Sintra Ramuta, seeing animals in need was the driving force for creating the TTPR. The rescue tries its best to encourage others not to shop but to adopt these lovable animals. This organization were, was created to assist animals in danger, animals who were not being fed, animals who were not being cared for by owners, animals that needed to be rescued from being injured. Her motivation comes from the stories of abuse, neglect and struggles these animals faced in the past. We've had animals tied to trees, left without water, left with um, wounds, open wounds, maggots. For Sintra, seeing an animal in pain is all it takes. Even though I have all these animals here, if I, I see another one and I know I don't have space, how could you leave that animal there? You can't. Among the services being provided are rehoming, vet care for injured animals, neutering and vaccines. However, according to Sintra, the main issue is that many people aren't prepared to spend their money on animals. She would like to reiterate the importance of neutering both dogs and cats. Some people would drive past and they would put on Facebook, there's an animal that's injured by the side of the road, can somebody pick it up? Sometimes we'd like those people, stop and pick up the animal, call for help, take it to the nearest vet if you want and then we could take it from there or offer a donation. For Saira Musai, who has adopted a few dogs from the TTPR, these animals are a source of joy and she's encouraging others to do the same. As, as long as they can afford like their vet care, but always rescue. You know, I don't believe in, in breeding and buying and everything because there's so many dogs that don't have homes. Like Bob, all Central wants is a place for these animals to call home. Michael Ramsing, CNC3 News.